So guys, this is the audio with the compression limiter and noise gate engaged. And this is the audio without the compression, without the limiter, without the noise gate engaged. In this video, I'm gonna talk about three audio filters in OBS that will change your life and make your live streaming audio sound better. The compression, limiter, and the noise gate. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Sam from Live Production Tips and Tools and welcome to my channel. Hey, shout out to uh, my friend Benny from India who actually asked me uh, this question. He actually wanted to know how to use the compression and the limiter within OBS. And actually, I thought I would add a bonus tip, which is the noise gate. So make sure you have your headphones on because it's going to help you uh, actually listen to some uh, changes because I'm gonna be doing some demos for you guys to understand and be able to hear what each of those three filters uh, does within OBS. Just want to give you quick definition of what these two means. So basically a compressor is used to actually compress the dynamic range. So your dynamic range is made of the highs, so your loudest uh, level in your audio and your lowest level in your audio. So that's your dynamic range, okay? Uh, and it wants to make sure that you don't get too much volume. So you get some level of consistency. So the compressor is going to kind of, you know, kind of push every time you push down uh, whatever is too loud and then it will boost the signal uh, if I get too, uh, you know, you know, quieter. So that's the compressor. Now the limiter, what it's going to do, basically the limiter is like another sort of compressor, but this one has like a bigger ratio, okay? So basically every time, let's say, you set up your threshold. You say, uh, every time my voice hits, let's say minus eight, okay, dB, a limiter is gonna have it a ratio of about 10, one or above, okay? So what it means is, so every time I, I go past minus eight and then I jump to like uh, 10 dB above minus eight, so instead of you guys uh, hearing 10 dB above, you're going to hear just one dB. So that's like a huge amount of compression. A compressor is a little more like more creative and gentle and it's not gonna kind of like cut off, you know, it's not like that strict. Uh, but the limiter is more strict and the ratio is, is really, really high. They'll just be like, hey, if I told you not to go above minus eight, okay, you stay there, you're not going nowhere, okay? I hope you guys understand, but don't worry because I'm going to show you exactly uh, the same things that I just said within OBS so you understand and see actually how it does work. So let's not take much time, let's head to OBS right now. So as you can see, this is my camera and the, the USB microphone, okay? And as you can see, you have the signal coming from the USB microphone right now. Just gonna take it. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go here to video and click, uh, right click on the USB G H5 camera um, source. And then I'm going to go to filters. Okay. And this is where we are going to do all the juicy stuff just to show you how the whole thing works. Okay. So I'm going to go to here. Uh, under audio video filters, okay? I'm gonna hit this plus sign and I'm gonna add the first element, which is the compressor, okay? Just compressor. And as you can see, this is everything we, we were talking about, okay? So our compressor has a ratio threshold and it has attack, release, and output gain, okay? So now the ratio, this is what we're talking about. As you can see the values, you have 10, one, okay? This is a little high for a compressor, okay? We're gonna set our ratio to something like two. Okay, as you can see, as I add two, it's gonna give me one, okay? So what it means is every time I, I go over my threshold, which is minus 18, okay? Every time I go past minus 18, okay? I go over two dBs, it's going to make it one dB, 
okay so it's not gonna cut it it's just gonna make it 1 db okay now i can go a little higher make it like 4. so which means every time i go past 8 minus 18 which is my threshold it's gonna make it sound like i only went over uh by 1 db okay and um my threshold basically is minus 18 i can make it minus 16 okay so as long as we're not hitting zero we're good okay so i don't mind using minus 16 especially for a microphone if you're compressing loud stuff like bass guitar or some loud music uh then that's a different game okay so um the attack is how quickly the compressor is going to engage and the release is how quickly the compressor is going to release honestly uh, a lot of people say you know i uh, use the lowest value for the attack everybody has a different taste and i would say test it um you know depending on your situation and whatever sounds good and works better for you then you can use those values but for now i'm just gonna leave it at uh, six uh, mile seconds and 60 for the release okay as you can see my levels uh when i speak in the microphone it's not even getting close to zero okay even though we are afraid of the zero but zero is still okay you're not clipping you clip when you go past zero for me my rule is as long as i'm around minus one i'm good between minus one and minus three because under minus three it's just like just feel like it's not loud enough you know when that's where people are listening to your sound and you like kind of like have to crank up the volume because they can't hear uh your audio your sound so i push my signal close to zero and this is where as you can see my output gain is a zero okay so we are going to push a little bit increase it this is where actually we boost the low signals because as you can see um if i go a little far from the microphone it's really like really high okay so as you can see i'm really like close to minus 40 you know i'm like minus 40 right now and that's not good that's not a good signal so we want to boost those lower uh signals so i'm gonna add uh 18 um db okay so that means i'm boosting my signal up to 18 db okay now as you can see my signal uh when i talk i'm hitting zero okay i'm actually clipping because <laughs> i boosted it a lot okay so um that's a problem okay because it's too much but personally i like it because i don't want to be too quiet you know so I want to hit zero sometimes, but I don't want to clip. So now, um, if I go a little far from the microphone, you can still hear me, you know? So look at me, you know? So, you know, see, this is a little far from the mic, but you see it's boosting my signal, okay? But let's say if I turn the compressor off, as you can see, you know, as I move, just a little quiet okay i have to kind of be close to the microphone to get a better signal okay even though it's still low so basically the compressor is kind of you know adding boosting me but at the same time is preventing me from clipping okay so now let me give you uh, another example so okay so but watch this as you can see i'm getting close to zero which is fine but if i go crazy on my talking you see i'm gonna clip they say see i'm clipping now because as soon as i get louder the compression is not gonna be able to hold that's where the limiter comes in and i'm going to add it so go to add and add a limiter and hit ok as you can see the limiter has only two uh parameters or values so it has the threshold and release okay only two now what does it do as you can see it says minus six that's my threshold okay and 
the release is basically the same as the compressor you know how fast it's going to release okay but as you can see if i set it minus six don't like it i'm gonna set it to minus three okay so remember what we said the limiter has a higher ratio you know it's like 10 and above so every time i go 10 db beyond the threshold which is minus three is going to squeeze that into only one db okay so the worst case scenario because i know i'm not gonna be louder than 10 db i'm not gonna go over 10 db for sure but if i do i'm still instead of clipping to zero it will push me to minus two if i do 20 db over it's still giving me only two db over so worst case scenario i do 30 uh 30 db over okay it's gonna get me to zero so at minus three i'm safe now watch this as i talk let's say let, let me try to get louder okay you watch the levels here see that's really loud but it's limiting me at minus three i'm not going past minus three see that See, I'm hitting minus three and it stops me right there. Okay. If I turn off my compressor, okay, as you can see, it's getting my signal. I have my limiter, but it's almost doing nothing because the signal is not even hitting minus three. It's not, it's not even getting there. It's not hitting the threshold and it's too quiet. Okay. So that's why the compressor is boosting my signal. Okay. And then the limiter is making sure I don't go over um, minus three. Okay. So now you understand these two. There is another part. Okay. So if you have your headphones on, as you can see, when I stay quiet, there's a little bit of um, signal coming in still. Okay. see that because that's coming from the compressor when i added okay when i added this uh output gain okay to boost my low signal it's also picking up my fan from my computer okay because my computer is running so it has a little fan okay just doing you know just a little bit of um it's not really that loud and sometimes i have some ac going on and uh it, it creates this noise in the background so it could be any background noise okay so the thing is i have a really good microphone it's a usb mic it doesn't really pick up a lot of noise but you may have like a shotgun mic or other microphones that will pick up more noise okay so this is where you're gonna need another tool called the noise gate or just the gate so basically what it's going to do it's going to close the door and don't let in some stuff like especially noise okay all those lower signals things that you don't want to hear is going to kind of uh, keep them uh, kind of close the gate okay make sure they don't go through so people don't hear it let me just show it to you um, so let's go to add another filter and go to noise gate okay hit okay as you can see if i stay quiet see there's no noise my fan is still running if i had my ac we we'll still have done the same thing okay but as you can see i'm just by using the default uh settings on the noise gate everything's quiet now so let me just go through the settings so as you can see you have the close threshold and you have the open threshold so basically the the close threshold that's where is going to uh to close the the gate so anything below minus 32 it's going to close the gate and make sure it doesn't go through okay so because my my noise as, as you can see my noise is around it's around minus 58 okay so because it's under minus 32 it's it's gonna stay under the gate outside okay so the open threshold that means that's where the gate is going to open basically as soon as i start talking okay and then when once i hit minus 26 
the gate is going to open because it's going to recognize it's not a noise it's actually me talking okay keep in mind you can change all these settings to uh, whatever works for your situation okay so if you have some music performance and you have a mic uh, kind of hissing or something hissing in you know like you know so you can always tweak this closed threshold or open threshold so now if you're listening to my signal now i have three elements uh, on i have the compressor limiter and noise gate okay my signal is supposed to be loud enough noise free and it will never clip so guys this is how you use these three things keep in mind this would be a scenario where i'm doing a live stream and um i'm just using a usb microphone or any other kind of microphone but if you live streaming let's say a church service or an event okay chances are you may have a separate compressor or maybe you're not using obs but if you're using obs to live stream something like that that has loud audio this is going to help so make sure you use your compressor to boost those low signals use your limiter to make sure you you know you have like a threshold where like whenever your audio hits there it's gonna cut it okay it will make sure you never clip you know you never go beyond zero i'll say minus three is safe but you can do minus two even minus one sometimes i do minus one for my audio because i know i'm never gonna go like i'm gonna i'm never gonna go crazy and scream so i could actually do minus one on my limiter right now and just try it okay and as you can see i'm still good see see like i'll never do that on a live stream but you know just to make sure i'm you know kind of you know uh, i'm covered in case i go super crazy okay and on my compression i can add a little bit of output gain if i want to you know and i know nothing is gonna happen see i'm hitting minus one but it's never gonna go beyond minus one okay and my nose gate is still engaged so people cannot hear whatever is going on in the background so guys this is how i use these three things i know i talked a lot but i wanted to make sure i cover everything and you understand well how the whole thing work okay if you have questions make sure you put it down in the comments let me know again i'm not an audio engineer but i know a little bit and i hope i was able to explain it in a way that you could understand and actually see it in real time i have a lot of videos on how to use obs uh, to live stream on youtube and facebook so make sure you check those if you're new to obs other than that i thank you guys for hanging out with me and i'll see you on my next video Take care.